is 9 o'clock Pacific Time on March the 26th, which uh, means that on the East Coast it is midnight on <clears throat> March the 27th, which means Far Cry 5 is out, and I am excited to play it. Uh, I got work tomorrow, early in the morning, so i only got a couple hours to spare here to spare here but uh, I'm going to try to get as far as I possibly can in those two hours because I am really really excited for this ah Dunia that's a cool looking truck but yeah so they're leaving behind all the exotic locales of Far Cry's past and now it's Murica so let's let's Murica some stuff and by murakaing some stuff, I mean like blow things up and and things. And shut down an evil cult. That I am looking forward to. Because shutting down cults is always fun. I do it every weekend. It's a blast. But Hope County, that's an ironic name. Uh, considering what is happening in Hope County. What is this? Do you get to choose a... Oh, look at that. You get to choose a character. That's not very Far Cry-like. Usually you're, uh, you know, you're Jason or AJ or whoever was in Far Cry 1 and 2. I have no idea. Never played them. Uh, but I'm, I'm gonna go with Choices Final. Can I, I hope, hopefully you can, like, do, like, other saves, though. But I will, I will do, I will be dude. As a dude, I will be dude. Not the dude. I am not that lazy. Despite all that you have done, you are not beyond salvation. You're not here by accident or by chance. The Father. He's got uh, three of the seven sins uh, carved into his back. That looks painful. You, know, you could have just gotten them tattooed like that logo you've got there. I feel like that would have uh, would have been less painful for you. Also, nice sunglasses for a Montana. Cult Big dude. Country. The treasure state. People got a lot of names for Kinda it. I wish those weren't popping just, up in the middle of this cutscene. Call it home. Lived here my whole life. Still amazed at how beautiful it is. Maybe that's what blinded us to how ugly the people were getting. Good day to you, brother. You don't understand. No one took these groups seriously. They were different. Religious, militant. I mean, it was a goddamn cult. The collapse is upon us, my children. They started buying up every farm for miles. Then the radio station. Not long after that, they even had the fucking cops. Their own sovereign religious state, built right here. And the FBI didn't feel the need to intervene at any point. Government can't do shit. We're on our own. People don't want to believe groups like this exist. People are scared, man. Some will wish to harm us. Some will wish to destroy all that we have built here together. So we're just filming that's gonna get get themselves shot. We don't know what he's capable of. Who? Their leader. Joseph Seed. They call him. Johnny Appleseed? And those in the outside world are blind. They do not believe. They have no faith. But I will make them see. So, not shot. Just like mountain. He's a creepy dude. Sur service lost. Look, U.S. Marshal. Dude, oh, we need Raylan Givens. He'll help us out. This is his kind of town. Justifiable homicide, man. That's what I'm going to do to this jo Joseph Seed. Also, awesome mustache. White horse. Oh, 
sometimes. Sometimes it's best to leave well enough alone. Yeah, well, we have laws for a reason, Sheriff. Exactly. Joseph Seed's gonna learn that. Except it's gonna be a lawlessness right. that takes him down. Open but no, it's lawful, because it's just file homicide. We already covered this. At some point, they would like call on the National Guard, right? Bring like tanks and shit. I feel like this this kind of thing would not would not be allowed to happen for very long. Not to the extent that it's happening in this game. Garden. I can't hear you. The propellers are loud. But uh, I'm kind of curious. It seems like we almost are like not a character in Far Cry 3 and 4. Like, it's very, it feels very like early Call of Duty esque. You're just kind of kind of a person. Man or woman, whichever you choose, and that uh, you'll have zero dialogue. Hey, don't step to me. Think you can step to me? I'm a Leo. What are you? I don't like what you're doing. Disagree with that sentiment. And every problem can be solved that way. That, that dog scares me a lot more than the people with guns. What are you guys talking about? Shotgun on me. I don't at all. Good. Oh, Marshal. When we do this, we do it my way. Quietly. Calmly. You got it? Fine. I'm getting very Bioshock Infinite vibes. When you first show up in Columbia. The music. On me. And you. Just. Try not to do anything stupid. Relax, Sheriff. You're about to get your name in the paper. Oh, well, that's... He's already stupid. You'll be fine. Well, yeah. I am the main character. Actually, what if I'm not? What if I die here and then, then you become a main character? That'd be interesting. It'd be an interesting way to start a game. And there will be a reckoning. That is why we started the project. Altar of Burnt something, five sense. cubits something. Got some like numerology going on here. They will try to take from us, take our guns, take our freedom, take our faith. We will not let them. Sheriff, come on. We will not let their greed 
Also, should we not trust the sheriff? There will be no more suffering. Joseph C. I have a warrant issued for your arrest on the suspicion of kidnapping with the intent to harm. Now, I want you to step forward and keep your hands where I can see them. There they are. The locusts in our garden. See, they've come for me. Man, all these guys have such gigantic beards. It's kind of intimidating, if I'm being honest. For me. Let you take me. Rook, put the cuffs on him. Alright, well, let's put the cuffs on him. Sometimes it's the best thing to do is to walk away. So apparently I think there's another secret ending, and I'm assuming it's for not arresting him. Which kind of is lame, if you ask me. Like you did it with Far Cry 4, and that was, was unexpected. Let's go. Just kinda like Come up with a new gimmick. You know? Then he made the altar of burnt offering of a cape, uh, acacia wood, five cubits long and five cubits wide. Uh, square, I'm assuming? Uh, and three cubits high. Oh, two far from the sheriff. Oh, sorry. Alright. Avarita. Or Avaritia. Arisha? I don't know. Yeah, things are about to go real sideways real fast. It's gonna end up like Waco. Got him in the helicopter. Someone tells me this helicopter is not going to make it very far. Oh, yeah, I was gonna, he's going to die. Oh, who the hell are you? Man, these are some dedicated people. Holy shit. He's awfully calm for a helicopter crash victim impending. Well, certainly a very intense opening. Seed's gone, of course. I like grab the. Yeah, let's say grab him. Oh, there he is. All right, can you stop creeping me out? Please, please get out of my face, please. I don't like this. I really don't like this. This is making me really uncomfortable, I'm gonna be honest. 
I'm kind of freaking out right now. Dispatch. Oh my god. Everything is just fine here. Do we need to call anyone? Yes, Father. Praise be to you. Oh, shit. This is all sorts of fucked up. No one is coming to save you. Yeah? I know for a fact that there are some people who will come save me. Because it's like a whole feature of this game is the friends for hire or whatever. Also, one of them's a dog. He's gonna bite your face off. Hey, you're still alive, so that's good. What about him? He's still alive, that's good. Did he say reaping? That that sounds like a uh, bad news for us. Huh? Hey, maybe God won't let you take me. Did you ever think of that, Joseph Seed? No, bet you didn't, because you're crazy. Okay, yeah. Unbuckle your seatbelt, please. I mean, you're supposed to lift the, the thing. Or apparently not. You can just rip it out. Oh, shit. Run, 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 run. Okay, we're alive. We're good. We're, we're good. You know, I'm going to take a sharp left turn because they wouldn't expect that. See, look at that. I'm already finding, like, a fence. So that's actually a bad thing. I don't want to run into a fence. Fences are bad for me right now. Um... Are they chasing me still? I mean, they seem to have lost me, so the sharp left turn totally worked. But, uh... Oh, I don't like that. I don't like... I don't like... Wait! What the fuck's going on here? Shack, probably filled with cult people. All right, I know how stealth works in Far Cry. You don't have to tell me. All right. All right. So what I'm liking so far, because so far, because you know Far Cry is kind of known for their bombastic villains, right? Like Voss, everyone loved Voss, and Pig and Men was pretty cool. But I like that they're kind of going a, a little bit different with... Oh, shit. Uh, okay, I can throw it. That's cool. How do I switch weapons? L1? Ah, oh, L1. There we go. Yeah, give me this pistol. But yeah, he's like... He's a little bit more like nuanced, a little bit more like subtle and just like super creepy. Still like a little bit bombastic, but not in the same not in the same way. You know what I mean? Especially like God, when he was like staring directly into your eyes in the helicopter. That was uh that was freaky. Super freaky. I can honestly say neither Voss nor Pagan ever actually like freaked me out. They'd be like, or intimidating or something, but never... Is that an explodey thing? Haha, <laughs> yes it is! Oh shit, I'm gonna get myself caught. Yep, okay.
I also, I want to do a couple things real, real quick. Options, gameplay, da -da 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 normal, da -da -da. off. Off. Uh, okay, that's all good. Then we want this. Turn that on. Don't want French. All right, let's go meet the sh meet the marshal. And there's no coal people here. Ooh, but there is stuff. I got rifle ammo for a, a rifle I don't have. So that's cool. I don't think I have a rifle, right? Yeah, no. They got you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Check the room, Rook. Um, I'd shoot the bed anyway. Could be a really skinny person in there. Oh, Jesus. I had no idea. Fuck. We're putting this whole family away. All of them. How about in the ground? Away doesn't seem good enough in this situation. We're gonna get out of this, rookie. First things first. Gotta arm ourselves. Here. Ooh, yeah, assault rifle. All right. Here's what we're gonna do. There's a road out there. We're gonna take it. We're gonna head northeast. It's probably only a few hours back to Missoula. And then we're gonna come back here with a goddamn National Guard, and we're gonna take out the rest of these... Okay, shh. Oh, of course they know where we are. Ooh, that's okay. Where are they? I don't see how oh, there you are. Kidding me? You're already down. How do I pick you? Revive! Oh god, okay, 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 med kit time. Right, not gonna be super easy apparently. It's gonna have a lot of recoil. I'm gonna cover you, I'm gonna get in the truck. Oh, I got one of them. I fired my entire clip, I got one of them. Oh, can I do something with this? Why are you... I don't know. Uh, I will loot though, because why not? Nice future paradise there. Up ahead? No, not up ahead. I'm not very good here. You okay? Nice work back there. I'd be dead if it weren't for you. We gotta get back. No, we gotta be smart. Kill a deer. Pretty sure this is not legal what I'm doing. Drive through it, man. And that was not a very good roadblock on their part. Shit. I'm trying to get the... There you go, I got him. Got the driver. I thought... Oh, okay. I was going to say, I thought I used a medkit, but... Nothing was happening for a second. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Is a what? Oh! Ooh, haha. -ha. I don't think I threw that very well. Ooh, that almost got him. There we go. 
Got him. Yeah. All right, blowing people up. Always fun. Is that a fucking plane? Don't you tell me they have fucking air support. Well, of course I got air support. What, have you been paying attention at all? These guys have a lot of stuff, a lot of resources. Van just ran into the ATV. Thanks for helping me out, Van. Cows! I really probably shouldn't bother shooting at cows. It's uh, hard to shoot at people when you're in a moving vehicle, let me be honest. Oh, nice. Conveniently located uh, exploding barrels is always nice. Oh, mortars. Okay, that's just not fair at this point. Uh, pretty effective. Um, they're coming. Oh, they're not coming. They're over there. Is he about to die? No, he's just getting caught. Oh! Maybe this isn't Colt guy. Maybe this guy's actually on our side. I could be wrong, but I could be right. He didn't have like a flashlight or anything. See, they don't have us. So this is, this is, no, except I'm, unless maybe it's the woman that's not been caught. No, it's us, I think. I don't know, I can't tell this is good guy or bad guy. It means the roads have all been closed. It means the phone lines have been cut. It means there's no signals getting in and out of this valley. But mostly it means we're all fucked. You sound really familiar. Goddamn collapse. They all think the world's coming to an end now. They've been waiting for it. For years. Waiting for somebody to, to come along and fulfill their prophecy. Kick off their goddamn holy war. This guy who played Raymond Kenny in well, you Watch Dogs. Shit kicked. T Bone. Smartest thing for me to do would just be to hand you over. But it's not the right thing to do. And the right thing is never easy. It's a big knife you got there. Well, big for a pocket knife anyway. Get out of that uniform. We need to burn it. There's some fresh clothes there. When you get changed, you come and see me. We'll see if we can unfuck this situation I 
I am the balancing point. The world is a diagonal. Like a seesaw? Is that what you're saying? Need the fulcrum? Murica? Hope County? Is that like... Let's see. Let's try to guess the... Uh, the mascot by the picture. I've got four... I've got four guesses. It could be anyone. It could be... Panthers. Possibly Wildcats. Or Bobcats. Or maybe Jaguars. It's one of those four, I'm betting. And then when I'm wrong, I'm gonna... I don't know what that means. I'm gonna... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna feel stupid, I guess. Built for the toughest roads. So it's built for tough, you're saying? Just kind of looking around. All right, let's get some clothes. Can I pick my clothes? Oh, shit, yeah, there's actually a character customization. This is unexpected. Um, I don't know. Let's either this one or this one looks most like me. Let's go with that. Definitely pale. Um, see, not that, not that. I guess that's probably the closest to what I got. I could look like uh, Justin Guarini, or uh, yeah, no, you know what? That looks like uh, Boy Meets World, dude. And I could really look like a belong in Hope County. I'm gonna go with this one. Yeah. Oh my gosh, there's like a whole ooh. There's all sorts of stuff. Well, clearly, we gotta go with this. And uh, we gotta wear the brown pants. That's, that's why this guy wore the brown pants. Let's see, we got ourselves trucker cat, but I can't see what it says, which is unfortunate. William and Coleman? I wish I could actually, like, Zoom in on them and let's go with that one. Right? No, let's go with that one. Handwear. Oh, got some Colt gloves, some wraps, skeleton. Well, clearly we gotta go with skeleton. Oh, I could you could always randomize too, but we're gonna go with that. Fairly light character customization, but it's appreciated. There's a thing on the other side of this wall. Oh, there's a thing in here, too. Probably an audio. Nope. What is this? Ooh, we'll take that. See, so you gotta look around. You never know what you can find. Oh, I don't have a key. I'm sure I'll get that key eventually. Oh, man. Uh, October 13th, 2014. Dear Mr. Roosevelt, I'd like to interview you about your recent altercation with government officials over your right to collect rainwater. Interesting. My understanding is you had applied for a permit, but it was overturned, leading to your nights in jail and ongoing court case. It's actually like, you have, to, you have, to have a permit to collect rainwater? I'd like to confirm your official statements to the court that water is a God-given right and the government stealing our resources out from under us, and it's uh, it's up to us to defend our individual rights and liberties. Also, why did you tell... Why did you really... Also, I need to not get ahead of myself here. Also, did you really tell the judge, yeah, you bet your lily white ass I'm in contempt of you? Please let me know if you'll go on, go on record. Jeb Boyt, Hope County Chronicle. Assuming that's Dutch. Dutch Roosevelt. April 27th, 2015. Dad, I got your message. Good to hear they're dropping the charges. We'll try to come out for part of the summer. Ricky wants to show you how he's riding without training wheels, but Anne's got a lot of work at the college. I know how much it means to you, so we'll try. Only please lay off the homeschooling talk, okay? It's not right for me or Anne, and the school in South Street is one of the best. And let's keep the prepping activities to a minimum. I know Ricky loves it, but it freaks Anne out. Talk soon, Robbie. I'm assuming it's like 
apocalypse prepping. Which this does look like a pretty hefty bomb shelter. Is that the one I already tried? It is. Before I go talk to Dutch, I wanna I wanna keep looking around here. I shouldn't read everything. Uh, local fights to use water. Richard Dutch Roosevelt served two nights in jail for contempt of court after contesting his right to collect rainwater and what the state has defined as reservoir. Oh, so he took it from a thing. He didn't just, like, put out a bucket. I think. I'm assuming. I don't know. Mr. Ro Roosevelt has operated this rainwater collection without a proper permit in flagrant violation of Montana laws, said the Water Resource Department Deputy Director Edwin Garcia. Mr. Roosevelt is contesting the charges. Alright, alright. Come on, interact. Dutch, you there? This is Ray Ray. What the hell is going on? Sugar coated. Frosted Cheerios. Boomer, that's the dog. There he is, that's Boomer. That's Boomer right there. I want that dog. Also, uh, toilet paper. Let's uh, open that up because I think I'm going to need it. It's when I'm wearing the brown pants. Is a CS Toto. These all probably mean stuff. Oh, loot. Stuff that. Oh, hello. Handgun ammo. Can't loot the toilet paper though. That's unfortunate. Oh, take, 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 take. Ooh, a shovel. <gasps> Alright. I know what I'm doing. I'm bashing Dutch over the head with a shovel. <laughs> He's gotta be trapped in here like Ooh. Pipe. Like John Goodman. Um, so I'm going to have to put that, uh, I'm going to have to deal with that. Long grain rice. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. To whoever is in the prison, are you there? Jacob C., the soldier. This is brother, I'm assuming. Uh, oldest brother, uh, jo Joseph's brother, uh, oldest brother of the seeds, in charge of training their militia up in the White Tail Mountains. Only thing he believes in is the sacrifice of the week. For a second, I thought that said sacrifice of the week, which would be a fun uh, weekly event. Uh, seems to be running a few psychological experiments up north. All sorts of nightmare stories about people turning on one another at the drop of a hat. Has been linked to the creation of the monster wolves up north the cult calls judges. Monster wolves? Holy shit, how are there monster wolves? Like... Like the gray? Ah, oh, the father, leader of the Project Eden's Gate, he believes a great collapse is coming and thinks of him, thinks of himself as a modern-day Noah. Uh, thinks God speaks to him, told him to save as many souls as he can. Now that he's started the reaping, his followers are willing to die for him. He said his people build three massive bunkers to protect themselves when his prophecy comes true. Guy is an absolute nut job. Sounds like one. It's the sister, Faith, the siren. Oh, okay. Not related. Uh, don't know how she's related. Seems like she just showed up one day. She'll spin you a sob story, but Faith is a liar and a manipulator. She'll poison your mind with bliss if you give her the chance. Is that some sort of like drug or something? Uh, anyone who goes wandering into the Henbane River winds up either dead or walking the path to become one of those uh, brain-dead angels doing all the cult's hard labor. And John Seed, uh, there is a Johnny Appleseed, youngest of the Seed brothers and maybe the most sadistic, in charge of recruiting for the cult, marking, cleansing, confession, atonement, those are the four steps he puts everyone through to become a member of Eden's Gate, if they survive. John tells everyone to accept the power of a yes, like Jim Carrey, uh, as a way to get his followers to do whatever the fuck he wants. Grade A psychopath. I think they're all grade A psychopaths. I feel like it's an unnecessary qualification of him, specifically. Alright, what's up, Dutch? I didn't properly introduce myself back there. Most folks call me Dutch. I've been trying to piece together what's happening up top. It ain't good. Little I can gather, 
is that your partners are alive. For now. Seems they've been split up. Each one handed off to a different member of Joseph's family. You want them back, I get it. I get it. I got friends that could take it too. Problem is, there ain't no help coming. Nobody knows what's going on here, and they won't know until it's too late. There's got to be people out there willing to fight back against this cult. We just, we need to show them how. We need to build us a resistance. All right. So the first a rebel thing alliance. I like it. Blow up the Death Star. We can figure they got one of those, right? There's a gun and a map in the safe over there. Take them. I'll give you a call on your radio once you get your bearings. Oh, I got the key. I got the key. It's crawling with Peggy's. Those fuckers are Now I can open up this place. Alright, now open it. I unlocked it, now it's not letting me open it. Oh. You said you said to push. You know, like in real life how you push open doors. Uh, William and Coleman. Apparently it's uh, September. It's important uh, expository information. Uh, letter to Dutch, January 20th, 2016. Dad, we aren't going to be visiting any visiting anymore. Last time was the last straw. We, saw, we said we didn't want Ricky shooting, but you just won't listen. He could have killed himself. My son isn't going to grow up thinking the end of the world is right around the corner. He's five, and he's having nightmares about nuclear war. What the fuck is wrong with you? Thought we were past this, but you never change. Anne's taking a job down in Texas, and I'll be able to find work down there easy. I won't be sending you our address. I'm sorry, Dad. I hope someday you can find the help you need. Robbie. And that help is a, a local apocalypse. Not, not like a full-blown apocalypse. But he's been proven right, so... Sort of. In a way. Keep seeing that. G G W P G L H F L O three. I'm gonna have to remember that. Alright. Um, well I actually think uh now would be a good time to stop. So I want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time.